Well, we looked at your EKGs, ran some tests, did a complete workup. Oh, God. Bobby. <laughs> well, you simply haven't had a heart attack. I have it? I'm OK? I'm OK? Oh, thank you! Thank you! Hey, that was really fun, George. Can we go home now? <laughs> no, actually, we'd like to keep him here overnight for observation just to be safe. Oh, sure, sure, anything. Can you believe it? There's nothing wrong with me. <laughs> well, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> what? Oh, my God, what? I is it meningitis? Scoliosis? Lupus? Is it lupus? <laughs> Have you ever had your tonsils taken out? My tonsils? Yeah, when I was a kid. Well, they've grown back. And your adenoids are swollen, too. Really? Yeah. Oh, whose tonsils grow back? Oh, it happens. <laughs> yeah, you've been exposed to gamma rays. <laughs> I still have my tonsils. Everyone in my family has their tonsils. In fact, we were forbidden to socialize with anybody who didn't have their tonsils. <laughs> That's interesting, because no one in my family has their tonsils, and we were forbidden to socialize with tonsil people. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like the Capulets and the Montague. Excuse me. Anyway, I strongly recommend they come out. What, you mean with a knife? Yes, with a knife. No, sniff, sniff. <laughs> anyway, you'd be completely under. You wouldn't feel a thing. And when you wake up, you can have some ice cream. Yeah, that's what they told me the last time. <laughs> But think about it. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I just have to ask that doctor one more question. <laughs> Women go after doctors like men go after models. They want someone with knowledge of the body, we just want the body. Hey, hey. Boy, they got a great cafeteria downstairs. Hot food, sandwiches, a salad bar. It's like Sizzler opened up a hospital. <laughs> so how did you have a heart attack? You're a young man. What were you doing? They're gonna do a zipper job? Oh, they love to do zipper jobs. Kramer. There's a really bad thing about the heart. It's a sex thing. So you gotta be careful about sex now. You can get heart pumping. <gasps> Suddenly, boom. Next thing you know, you got a hose coming out of your chest attached to a piece of luggage. Kramer, George didn't have a heart attack. No. That's good. I have to have my tonsils taken up. Oh, man. No, George, we gotta get you out of here. Get out right now, they'll kill you in here. It's routine surgery. Oh, yeah? My friend, Bob Sacamano, he came in here for a hernia operation. Oh, yeah, routine surgery. Now he's sitting around in a chair by a window going, my name is Bob! <laughs> George, whatever you do, don't let him cut you. Don't let him cut you. Well, what should I do, Kramer? Well, for one thing, don't listen to him. No, I'll tell you what you do. I'll tell you what you do. You go to Tor Ackman. Tor, Tor, he'll fix you right up. He's a, he's an herbalist, a healer, George. He's not just gonna fix the tonsils and the adenoids. He is gonna change the whole way you function, body and mind. Ackman, I thought he was doing time. No, no, he's out. He got out. <laughs> See, the medical establishment... See, they tried to frame him. It's all politics, but he's a rebel. A rebel? Mm-hmm. No, Johnny Yuma was a rebel. Ackman <laughs> is a nut. George, you want to take care of your tonsils? You do it in a hospital with a doctor. He's holistic. George, he's holistic. Holistic? No. That sounds right. George, you need a medical doctor. <laughs> Let me ask you something. How much do you think it would cost to have tonsils and adenoids removed at a hospital? Well, an overnight stay in a hospital, minor surgery, I don't know, four grand? Uh-huh. And how much does the healer charge? First visit, 38 bucks. <laughs> oh, yeah, holistic. That's what I need. 
That's the answer.